welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film one of my go-to looks for fall and winter. This is literally the most easiest, most simple makeup look ever, ever in life. This is just a makeup look that I personally do all of the time. You can see me like this throughout fall and even winter. It's just so simple and so easy and it takes literally no time at all and I'm literally using like five products, two of which that I don't even use most of the time, which is the banana powder and the setting spray. This look has no eyeshadow, no foundation, no concealer, no blush, no contouring, nothing. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. First, I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face. I always do this, but especially for fall and winter, I get really, really dry, crackly skin. So I always make sure I moisturize and then I moisturize again. I'm just using this Puritem Emulsion face lotion that I got in either my BoxyCharm or Ipsy bag, one of those, but use whatever lotion that you have. And I always moisturize my lips as well. I just use Vaseline. Look how cute this one is. <laughs> this one is the Vaseline Creme Brulee one, in case you guys are interested. It smells really good. So we're going to jump right into the eyes. I don't actually wear any eyeshadow. I strictly wear just mascara, um, either mascara or just eyeliner either or but um, recently I've just been leaning towards mascara because it's just a lot easier <laughs> so I'm gonna curl my lashes first when I curl my lashes I do it at three angles I go forward straight up and then towards like my eyeball kind of bending it backwards you want to be careful though because uh, you could rip out eyelashes so avoid that <laughs> So now that your eyelashes are curled, uh, just jump into your favorite volumizing mascara. I am going to be using the IT Cosmetics Super Kiro Mascara. This has been like my favorite ever since I got it. As you can see, it's quite a difference. <laughs> um, that's why I like using this mascara. It's just, it wakes up my eyes a little bit. I make sure to coat every single lash and start from the root and wiggle forward. Next, it's totally up to you if you wanna do your eyebrows. I normally do not do my eyebrows. <laughs> um, I just comb them and put them in place. But recently, my little like bald spot on my eyebrows, I don't know why, it's like getting bigger. It's, it's so weird. So I just go in with a brow pencil Let's see. Oh, this is from the Winky Lux brand. And this, I believe, is from a BoxyCharm, of course. So I'm, I'm basically just filling in any gaps. I'm not reshaping my brows or anything like that. Next, I grab my banana powder. This is just one from Ofra Cosmetics. I don't always do this step, but on days that I feel like uh, my under eyes are a little too dark or you know, I just want to look a little bit more awake, then I dip into this. And I apply this pretty much anywhere that I apply highlighter. So under my eyes, on my nose, a little bit on the forehead and chin. Next is finally the lips. I, I use any dark vampy color um, and usually lean towards like a brownish, either a brown or a brownish red. Um, for this look, I think I'm going to go with the Amore Matte Lip Cream in Crush, but uh, just a few other options. Um, I either use the NYX Simply Vamp Lip Cream in Enamored, or this is one of my favorites, uh, Cherry Bomb by Wet n Wild. And mahogany from NYC so those are usually my other go-to's but I'm gonna go with Milani for today just one more quick tip 
that I do sometimes is take that banana powder and if I feel like I want a little bit more light for my eyes, I just apply that to the brow bone just to lift my eyebrows a little bit and also the inner corner. Just brings a little bit of light without it looking like you have a bunch of eyeshadow on. Kind of looks like you have eyeshadow on without actually having eyeshadow on because your lids are a little bit darker than your brow bone. For the times that I do this look, I don't really ever wear a highlight or anything. I just like it really matte and just, I don't know, it reminds me of winter time. And finally, if I did end up using the banana powder, I do like to set it with a setting spray just to help with any powderiness. Uh, especially in the winter time when my skin is extra dry uh, it really helps kind of calm down the powderiness and melt everything together so that is it guys that is the full look that I normally go to I really really like this look it's super simple super easy the dark lips always makes it look like I have a lot of makeup on but I really don't <laughs> alright guys so that's it for this makeup tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye what what is this I actually wore this look just last weekend when I went to the mall and I mean, it literally took me no time at all, which is what I like about it. <laughs> which is also what my husband likes about it, because he doesn't have to wait around for me to do my makeup. You know what I mean? <laughs>